Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back. It's Rob from PMDG, back with another video in our 737 for Microsoft Flight Simulator series. This video covers the Operations Center and livery installation. It could just as well cover the DC-6, the 747, 777, or the unnamed product that's going to follow those. At the time you installed, we installed our PMDG Operations Center in Windows. You can find that by doing a search on PMDG and create a desktop icon like I've done here, make it easy for you. Just double click on that. The Operations Center will run and that has us looking at the Operations Center livery's control page right here. You'll notice up here in the top left there are a selection of pull-down menus that you can use by setting the simulator the installed product, model variant operator, things like that. It can help you to condense the display of liveries that are shown to you. So for example here we'll choose Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll go down to the installed product and obviously we'll pick 737. And then model variant. There's three different variants installed with the initial product here. And then from operator you get a list of all the airlines for the liveries that are currently being offered via the operations center. So we can just kind of go through here. We'll choose Southwest Airlines and ah, look at that. We have four Southwest Airlines 737-700s available. And the operations center is designed to make installation and management of liveries really easy. If you want to install it, simply click on the install button and you'll notice a little green tape appears showing the progress. It may take a couple minutes to download. These liveries are enormous because of the amount of detail on the models, but that progress bar will keep you up to date on what it's doing while it's working to get your livery downloaded and installed. Now, while it's doing that, let's take a look at a couple of other things. We've put some detail into these thumbnails to sort of help you navigate. You'll notice that it says right here, it's got a BW there. That's our way of saying it's a blended winglet. The SSW means a split scimitar winglet. So for example, this one's a split scimitar winglet. This one's blended winglet, split scimitar, etc. So you can kind of tell which ones are which based on that. One of the other things that we've done is this little verified tag right here means that we have put some effort into making sure that the livery when it installs has the correct cockpit equipment to match that particular tail number at that particular time. So for example if you look here you'll notice that we've got the tail number listed. We also have um, the tail numbers of the other liveries listed as well. They represent different actual airframes in the Southwest Airlines fleet. And you'll notice we've got dates on them also. That'll give you an idea of roughly when that livery appeared on that particular airframe and also the configuration period that it represents. If you go back over to this selection tab you can pick a different airline if you want. For example, if we want to look for Delta airplanes we can pull that down. We only have one Delta in the system currently. Or you can select all operators and it'll show you every livery currently available in the PMDG database for livery installation. You'll notice that we have a couple here that are listed as fictional. And that's an important tag. We do like to add in some liveries for fun. For example, these Olympic Airways were put in because Chris Macris on our support team lives in Greece. His dad worked for Olympic Airways, so we put those in there because it's, it's just fun. So we do that. Now, if you happen to be a real purist and you didn't want to see the fictional liveries, all you do is you slide over here and you click on this tab right here. And then you won't see the fictional liveries. You can tap on exclude fictional and they disappear from the list just like that. Makes it nice and easy. So you can sort of customize the display a little bit to see what you want to see. Now let's talk about the model variant pull down which is right here. You can see that there's a couple of different variants here. This is the cargo airplane so we've got two cargo liveries available currently. This is the BBJ. We've got five BBJ liveries available currently. And of course, the passenger version, which will naturally have the most, since most 737s, 700s are indeed passenger carrying airplanes. Again, we can use this to select the airline we want to see. One other little item to show you if you wanted to remove a livery, you just 
tap the remove button like that. We handle all the dirty work for you so you don't have to go editing files in the background. All in all makes it nice and simple, keeps it nice and clean and easy. When you're done, just close it out and go back to flying the sim. Once you're in Microsoft Flight Simulator to find your liveries, just go to the selection page here, choose the airplane, in this case the 737-700, tap liveries, and you'll see them all listed right here. Nice, clean, simple, and easy. Okay, taking us back to the PMDG Operations Center, I want to show you a couple of functions that are useful for livery creators and for installing liveries that weren't offered by PMDG. Come here to the Livery Utilities page. On this page, you'll see a couple of different functions that are really useful if you are a livery creator or if you want to install non-PMDG created liveries. Down here in the lower left, there is a install livery from PTP box, and this will let you install a livery that was created by someone other than PMDG. Up here, if you're a livery creator, this area will let you export a livery. For example, I'm going to choose one of ours just as an example. Let's say the Southwest Airlines here one. Now if I hit export right there, the Operations Center will export that livery into a PTP into the location of your choice so that you can then distribute your livery to others. Some other things that are useful here, the uh, product updates page you'll want to pay attention to now and then. We recommend taking a peek at this every now and then to see if there's a product update available. You can see right here that the PMDG 737-700 for Microsoft Flight Simulator is listed. And if there were an update available for it, it would show you right here and you'd just click on that button and the update would come down and install itself automatically. Makes it, again, nice, clean, simple, and easy. One of the things that we do to keep you informed, we've got this notifications page and when you run the Operations Center, if we have an update available for you, either for the Operations Center itself or one of the products you have installed, it will show right here and it will give you an idea which product it is and there'll be a little button that you can click and then just go right ahead and install that update. If you have trouble with a PMDG product, we always recommend that you run the Operations Center, check this page, make sure you get the latest update because sometimes that'll solve issues that you might be having. All right. Well, I think that'll cover it for the Operations Center. If you've got questions about it, always come visit us at the PMDG Forum at forum.pmdg.com. Up next, time to start making some videos about the airplane. Till next time, we'll see you soon.